Hey y'all, N4H&H &H here. I'm in the truck with the FT891, the ATAS antenna. And I've got the watt meter here set on average power, 20 watt scale. So all the way up to the top on that left scale will be forward power and that would be 20 watts. So the question everybody's asking, <laughs> uh, how much power does the FT891 put out when it's tuning the ATAS 120A antenna? So I am on the 20, uh, or I'm sorry, I'm on the 15 meter band, 21 megahertz. So here we go. Looks like seven and a half in this case. Okay, you saw it drop a little bit there at the end. So let me show you the radio, focus here. So that was to tune to 21062. Let me show you something in the menu. Sorry, the main, the big menu, there we go, power. So HF power is at 100 watts. That's the power that it uses when it is in, uh, well, CW mode, other modes, just think of it this way. HF SSB power, sideband, AM power 25, HF power other, so CW, FM. So I've got it set for 100 watts. I have been, in, until I knew this for sure, I've been running it at 10, but I just wanted you to see that even set to 100 watts when it's tuning the ATAS, and let's jump out of here. Uh, I'll uh, have it go down to 14.347. So I'm gonna press the tune button. It's, it's dark right now, so <laughs> You won't be able to see the antenna, but that's okay. You've seen that in plenty of other videos. I'm going to tap the tuner, and you see it's tuning. Let me change it. I'm going to go down to uh, 7150. Nobody talking, so here we go. So, nine and a half. Probably some fold back going on, just a little bit, you know, to protect the finals. Okay, so it's finished now. It is now tuned to 7150. Now I'm going to do a drastic change. I'm going to go up to 28400. So nine and a half. That's a long ways for it to travel. And there you go. So that's kind of running the ex almost the extremes. I, you know, the furthest up I might would go would be uh, six meters. So uh, that should answer the question. Uh, you know, that's, that's a safe tuning p power. And so you don't have to worry about manually turning the tuning down. I've been doing it just to be on the safe side, but I decided to get the watt meter out here. The problem is uh, the installation so tight, the coax coming in, I use the Diamond K400C, which is only six and a half feet of coax, and it made it to the back of the radio barely. So I had to put the meter down on the floor mat. Uh, sorry about that, let me get it focused. I had to put the meter down here on the floor mat just to uh, be able to to uh, get it hooked up so that's why everything's such an awkward position but there you have it uh, no more than nine and a half watts tuning anywhere and uh you know i think that's good i'm going to put it back on 40. so even though the scale on the radio See, it says high SWR. And by the way, you can put it on power out, but it's going to switch to SWR while it's tuning. So don't be shocked if you say, well, why can't I watch the power out on the radio itself, the FT891? It automatically switches to SWR while it's tuning. So that's why I had to bring this meter out here. And Plus, I've, I've got this meter pretty well calibrated against the uh, National Institute of Standards, a second, at least a secondary standard, a meter that is tuned to the NIST. So this is pretty good. It's pretty accurate. 
All right, there you have it, the answer. The FT891 with the ATAS 120A. Let's get that focused. Okay, with the ATAS 120A, when the radio, when I press that TNR button down there, I assigned it to the A key. When it is tuning, it is at least, uh, you know, 10 watts or less. And it's probably varying it a little bit according to the foldback circuit, you know, just protects the finals. So that's uh, that's good enough for tuning. Now, you know, the reason it's kind of important to, to, to pay attention to what a tuner needs for tuning is, especially with the external auto tuners, some of them require 10 watts, some require 20 watts. Just read your operating manual. So if you ever, if you have an oper uh, an auto tuner, especially one that's made to tune, say, legal limit, and you only give it 10 watts to tune, sometimes it won't give you the best match. It, you get a better match if you go ahead and let it um, let it tune at 20 watts. Their manual will usually tell you that. But some of the lower power tuners only need 10 watts. And obviously the FT891 and the ATAS, since they're both made by Yesu and made to work together, uh, Yesu has programmed the rig to turn the power down, no matter what you've got it set to, to turn the power down to you know 10 watts or less uh, for tuning. All right, hope you found the video helpful and informative. If you think about it, if you would, please click that like button. It helps us out with YouTube, and that'll help us all out in the future. Uh, because, well, one of these days, I'd like to be able to give away more stuff. And in order to do that, I need more uh, people viewing the videos. And you can help by clicking that thumbs up, by subscribing to the channel. That helps as well. Uh, by sharing this video over social media, text message, email, uh, phone a friend. And if you would, uh, post a comment and thank the Patreon support team who make these videos possible. Uh, without their support, you wouldn't, wouldn't be watching this video right now. All right, so again, thank you to that Patreon support team, and feel free to join that team. There are three levels of support, so there should be a level that uh, you would find uh, comfortable and you can help ensure that this channel is around for others to view more videos in the future. And uh, again, I want to thank you for watching the video and say 73 from N4HNH.